Ladies and gentlemen, a new piece of footage was released of Courtney Clinney fighting on Christian Obumselli, and she is clearly the aggressor in this. This footage was taken not long before the next altercation where she killed him. You know, this dude really didn't have any sense at all. He didn't have sense enough to realize maybe this situation was way too toxic to be involved with somebody like Courtney Clinney, but he stuck around and met his demise. That's what he did. So because of the violent nature of the video, because she's really wailing and punching all over him and shoving him and everything, and he's just trying to calm her down and everything, he's really not being aggressive with her at all. But, you know, that's why he's not on this earth anymore. So OnlyFans model Courtney Clenny altercation video emerges as evidence in murder case. Personally, I wish they would not have released this because now her attorney can come back and say that, you know, the jury, picking a jury may be difficult because, you know, she won't get a fair trial because of these kind of videos. I, I kind of wish they would have held this for court, but that's my opinion. So OnlyFans model Courtney Clenny finds herself in the middle of an unfolding murder case following the fatal stabbing of her boyfriend then, Christian Obamselli, the incident which occurred in their Miami apartment in April of 2022. So um, this new footage that came out, they said it was just before that time that he was killed. So it has brought forth a series of allegations, defenses, and evidence, including a recent release video of the violent altercation in Aspen between the couple. Now I did view the video and it appears like, but you can't see them, but the way she is talking and she keeps turning a certain way, it made me believe that other people were in that room when they were having this fight. It, I don't think this was just the two of them alone at all. And the sad part is nobody got up to break this fight up. They just sat there. So anyway, um, in February of 2022, Clinty and Obamselli were on an OnlyFans content trip in Aspen. A video from this trip, now made public by the prosecutors, captured Clinty hitting and pushing Obamselli, reportedly after discovering he was flirting with other women. The video is being presented as critical evidence to demonstrate Clenny's alleged volatile behavior. It certainly does display that. She really looks bad. So uh, Clenny's defense, a uh, claim of self-defense, I, I, I'm just not buying it. I, I guess if I didn't see all the videos of her acting aggressive, maybe, but since many of us ha have seen that elevator video where she was clearly hitting all over him. And now this video is showing the same volatile behavior. It's the same thing. And then the other video where she couldn't find her cell phone and she started screaming and hollering at him over her cell phone. And <sighs> mm -mm. It, it's just too many examples of her being an aggressor. It's just too many. So in response to the charges, Clenny has claimed that she acted in self-defense. But you know what? Most abusers say that, y'all. Most people that abuse other people, they always try to claim it's self-defense until they're caught in the act where you can clearly see like her that, no, you're an aggressor. There is no self-defense here, you know? But many abusers always take that self-defense stand. They really do. So um, it he you know so she was volatile towards Obamselli and it was violent 
she claimed he was violent towards her on the day of the stabbing. This is what she's claiming. She feared for her life. Isn't that the classic uh, line they love using on black men? You know, any other situation, nobody's afraid for their life, even if they're fighting another person. But when the person looks like us, all of a sudden, everybody's in fear of their life. I now, I understand why they, that's their go-to statement, you know, because they're attempting to get out of everything. That is the go-to line they all use. So according to her account, she threw a knife, which I'm not buying, which resulted in a fatal injury. I do not believe she threw some knife across the room. They said that knife went in and downward, like she was standing directly in front of him when she plunged that knife into his chest. They said that's exactly what it looks like. But according to her, you know, she tossed it across the room and it went straight into his chest. I, I'm sorry. I'm just not buying it. I'm not buying it. Contradicting claims and counter evidence, however, the medical examiner contests the claim stating that such precision by a non-expert knife thrower would be nearly impossible. To counter this, the defense presented a video showing a knife being thrown into a pig carcass, sticking it uh, to demonstrate the possibility of Courtney's account. Is somebody throwing a knife at a dead pig carcass is evidence. This is the evidence her defense is going to show. Well, first of all, if it's a carcass, it's not moving. Kristen Obamselli was alive. And, you know, it seems like he's very animated during these fights with her. I don't think he was laying there like a pig carcass when she threw that knife. I don't believe she threw the knife. I think she had the knife. It, I'm just saying in, in a scenario, if he if she was, he would not have been standing that still like a pig carcass. That's the point I'm trying to make. But wow. Her defense team is going to present a video of a person throwing a knife into a pig carcass. So you're comparing Christian Obamselli to a dead animal. Okay. The prosecutors, in addition, have another video that depicts a separate fight between Clinny and Obamselli in an elevator. And we saw the elevator fight. We saw that one because I did a video on that one as well, which Clinny cites as further evidence of her fear of him. No, she didn't show no fear in that elevator. Okay, so as this case unfolds, the court will have to unravel the layers of victimhood, fear, and responsibility. The fight video testimonies and forensic evidence will play a crucial role in determining the course of the trial and the fate of Courtney Clenny. Courtney Clenny is a danger. She really is. She has showed how dangerous she is. This woman should never get out of jail. She needs to stay in there for the rest of her life. I sure wouldn't feel bad for her. I don't feel bad for her now. But y'all, please tell me what you think. I guess I understand his family are trying to put together a case showing that, no, she was always violent towards him. And I, I believe that's what they're showing in this video, that what she is claiming is self-defense was not self-defense at all. It's not, you know, and most people, if they fear something, they try to get away from it. You know, she didn't try to get away because she was not in fear of him. She was always confident that he was never going to do nothing to her. She was confident about it. You could tell. You can tell. And he was being the big sucker that he was, because that's how he was in this relationship. He was a big sucker. 
all he was going to do was try to subdue her and he wasn't going to take no other steps or recourse against her. So that's why he's not here. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.